Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, fuel prices, of course, are at the front of everyone's mind right now. I think you can turn on the news or drive across town without seeing that number go up. So I know that you all are concerned as we move into the budget um, with all the vehicles that we have on the road where our fuel costs are. So Robin has run some numbers. Uh, in this, at this point in 2021, we were paying $1.97 a gallon for unleaded and $2.05 for diesel. Currently, we're paying $2.57 a gallon for unleaded and $2.98 for diesel. So we will continue to keep an eye on these numbers if we need to do some things like we've done in the past to say we need to avoid any unnecessary trips or we need to, to do reports in place or, or whatever we may need to do to keep costs down to, to conserve that, we will. Um, there's always a little tweak to services whenever we do that, and we're trying to, to keep that from the citizens. But if, if we get into a situation where this is going to have a tremendous impact on the budget, then we will let you know before we do. Um, along those same lines, uh, Mr. Beals and I have heard from our solid waste providers, and I do believe that there's going to be a fuel consideration request made. It's time for us to renew those agreements. Um, all that is going to be the legal process as it does um, when that agreement expires, and I think that we're going to hear from them in the next couple weeks that they are going to need a consideration there. Um, staff has been briefed with regards to the good direction that you gave us during retreat. Everyone is very excited, and we're moving forward with preparing those items for the budget for you to officially consider. Um, next week on Thursday, Lowndes County is helping host local government day for Leadership Lounge. So you all are in, um, you have a fantastic day in store that we are all very excited about. Ms. Barwick has been very instrumental in helping um, the committee plan that and we will get that on your calendar. So if there's any portion of that you would like to be there for, then we can take care of that for you. Um, also, we've been talking about illegal burning. You all may have seen some of that coverage in the media. Certainly, we've been pushing that out um, on social media. Chief Green and I have a meeting next week with his team and Georgia Forestry to talk about how we continue to move through the burn season. As you know, as of January 1 of this year, forestry no longer requires citizens to call in for a burn permit for residential burning. Um, we are up over 100% um, for this time last year with regards to grass fires. I think last last week we had three to four structures, including accessory structures that were damaged. We had a fire yesterday where unfortunately someone lost a pet. We lost one, we saved one. Um, so citizens just don't know. For, or the National Weather Service is becoming the de facto um, okay to burn if people are looking at their messaging with regards to humidity and um, and wind, but that's just not enough. So we're going to see what we can do locally in conjunction with forestry to help that along. Um, I received a phone call from Lieutenant Dix with Lowndes County Sheriff's Office this afternoon. He asked me to pass his appreciation, appreciation on to you all uh, with regards to the shelter over the shooting range. We will cut a ribbon on that very soon, uh, but they are currently hosting instructors from out of town. They're finishing up this class, their class this afternoon when the, when the rain came through and they didn't have to stop short. They were, were able to, to stand under that cover and, and keep going. And even the out of town instructors commented what a fantastic community was for that training ground. Um, the last thing that I have for you this evening is, Mr. Ty, if you would like to update the commission and those in attendance on our weather for tomorrow. 